Light up the world with a little more truth I got a couple more words What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and today I just wanted to take a minute to uh, discuss the adjusted list that um, that comes into effect today. Um, and <laughs> this thing got a lot of people mad, and um, it uh, especially showed how many people are going to not miss playing the deck, but will miss playing the deck at its full power, because... Um, this past YCS, which was the last one where um, you could play P Pals at their full power, we saw the top 32 had 29 P Pals with two Monarch and one and one Cosmo, which isn't that surprising, especially since it's the last um, YCS where you can really use that deck. So obviously, more people were going to use it. So I guess. It would have been better to prepare against Pepe in that in that YCS, but yeah. Anyway, so this adjusted list uh, takes effect today, and uh, and it applies to only the competitive scene, really, because it only applies to YCS, regionals, UDS, and invitationals. And the thing about this list is that it only really hits like one deck, two if you count Draco Slayers as a, as a deck, but. I really don't. So, to me, this only hits one deck right now. Um, since Draco Slayers, like, I'm not saying Draco Slayers are bad, it's just they aren't really developed yet, so I wouldn't consider them a deck. Like, I don't consider Kaijus their own deck yet, like, because they aren't really developed. Like, you, like the same thing with UAs. UAs, like, didn't really become their own deck until, like, uh, Secrets of Eternity. And even then, uh, it wasn't really that good until, like, Cross Souls. And even then, um, they didn't have everything that they needed, but you know, back, back to the point here. Um, so this list, um, uh, it, it's it's a list of nerfing six cards and an errata of pendulum sorcerer uh, to resolve a ruling issue. So let's start with the six cards. So plush fire is banned, damage juggler is banned, and Ptolemaeus is banned. And uh, those those are the only things that got banned. Nothing comes back from this list. Ever, everything is just hit. So plush fire, damage juggler, and Ptolemaeus. Plush fire because it was like with wavering eyes. This was a plus two combo because you would get one special one and two search since so one from wavering eyes and one from uh, damage juggler. I mean not from damage from plush fire. Damage juggler could negate wavering eyes very easily just by dropping it. <laughs> from your hand, which is a pretty good hand trap, and when and it also has a graveyard effect, which is like so good. Like I was amazed when I saw the card. Like it could stop attacks, it could stop damage effects, and it could search. Like, like I don't understand, like what Konami was thinking when they made a card with such uh, versatility. But you know, I'm not glad to see it banned, but like, it, like I can understand why. And Ptolemaeus. Uh, it was just so innocent because <laughs> it. Um, the only reason it got banned is because people were spamming it, and with uh, Infinity, you know, Telenites just you know lost one of their key cards uh, to go into Diamond. Now they're gonna have to use that the level four thing. But um, yeah, be, because of Infinity, Ptolemaeus got banned. They didn't want to hit Infinity because one Infinity was one of the main selling cards of. Break is a shadow, so they want to keep selling that. Although Infinity can now only be used in machine decks, or if you can make Constellar uh, he, uh, Hades and you know you use a uh, rank up force uh, and the Astral Force, like if you can make Constellar Press Bay, it's Press Bay, right? Just to no, no, the, the, the rank four one, the rank four machine one, and Astral Force it, um, then you can use. Infinity as well, but if you don't have any of those two cards, basically, if you, if you aren't using a, mach uh, a machine deck, then you can't bring out Infinity anymore. So down uh, next, we have Skullcrow by Joker. Um, it, it it was just a 
searcher when it was summoned, so it was kind of like a um, a Deneb for uh, performer pals, and it can add magicians, odd eyes, and performer pals. So that also is, is kind of like a Stratos, except with way like because Stratos could search like any hero. So I guess versatility does get you hit. Monkey board, it was kind of like a tanky uh, when it was like you could search when you activate it on the scale. So I I guess that's all right. And Lester Pendulum got limited. Um, I never really understood the combos of Lester Pendulum because I never really faced uh, Pepe more than like two duels at a time, and every time they were just wavering eyes it just to get another uh, Pendulum monster. So I, I never really got the point of it. Like I understand like you could like synchro with it into Ignister. I, I like I guess if that's you know its point then sure why not limit it. So um so this full so the full applies everywhere forbidden and limited list will be updated in a month or two after this. So we can expect it in uh March or April. Konami's words, not mine. And there's only a chance. You see like they like they don't say that say like they say perhaps all of these hits will still be on the regular forbidden and ban list. But um it's possible that the like not all these hits may get uh may get put on the ban list. I feel like Ptolemaeus yeah, actually yeah, Ptolemaeus will still get banned. Um I feel like uh maybe maybe not Lester Pendulum, but I feel like all the rest are still gonna get the hit they are. May maybe not Monkey Board either. But for all the rest I feel like they're they're, they're not gonna change exactly how. Um and also, they said that uh, adjusted list, um, they're not going to make too many of these. I mean, essentially, Konami could just do whatever the hell they want with the game. But um, this time, they chose really not to. Uh, I mean, th this time, they chose to to do it because they claimed it was an extreme case. Because after the one-year format, I feel like Konami wants the playing field to be even between decks. Although, the in the one-year format, it was mainly Necros. Um, that was dominating, like, there was still, like, um, like, the event, like, ratios between decks was still a little diverse, because there was Shadows a little bit, because, like, it wasn't just America, like, America was mainly Net, uh, Netcross, um, in Europe, uh, they, like, they made Shadows work, and, you know, all over the place, and, you know, you have to remember that America isn't the only country affected by the, the TCG list, which you know, I can understand. You know why they play, why why they pay close attention to all these hits. Although I I do still feel like Gateway and Shadow should be back already, but you know that's just my opinion. Um, so and yeah, so they they said that uh they they won't do too many of these because um this is an extreme case. Although it was on, it was less than three weeks. So, well, about three weeks after Bosch got released. Around three weeks, right? Because they released us on the 3rd. Three weeks from Bosch would have been on the 5th. So they released the information about the list on the 3rd. So that was less than three weeks after Bosch came out. And Monarchs only came out the Friday before. So I, I feel like they didn't let the format expand. Although um, the format expanding uh, isn't something that... They, they probably, like, didn't believe in Monarch's ability enough to really, like, let the format play out. Like, they felt like Perform Pals would just conquer the whole format. Because nothing... Because Phantom Knight... Like, we, we don't know how Phantom Knights and uh, the Power Ranger... Uh, Mecha Quantum... Yeah, there you go. We don't know how Mecha Quantums are going to do. Um, or Raid Raptors. Because Raid Raptors, although they can get that broken thing... Like, that broken... Rank ten towers exceed out. Um, that thing doesn't really come out until May, right? I think. I don't know. I could be wrong, but um, yeah. For now, I, I don't think they believed in our deck's ability to really um, beat Pepe. So they just hit Pepe because they want to see more diversity in these tournaments. 
I guess, you know, more people may go back to, like, uh, using, like, Pepe Magician. Um, although Skull Corbat Joker is limited, uh, Pendulum Call is not. Just saying. So, um, the errata for Pendulum Solicitor, yeah, I already told you it was to resolve ruling. Um, the old version is to destroy, like, you only get searches equal to the number of monsters, now you get searches equal to the number of cards. Um, I was overhearing some people on Zodiac talking about how, how, the, how, the, how this card became worse. Even though it really only got better because you get more searches because you can destroy any card now. And, um, yeah. Um, this suggested list may not affect anyone at a local level. Nobody really plays locals. Um, Cosmo may be uh, the next best deck. Um, either Cosmo or Monarch, but Monarch beats Cosmo badly, so Cosmo may be the second best deck. Monarchs may be the best deck. Or if PayPal, because PayPal may still have a chance if you mix them up with like magicians, or if you like try to like make them work, they they probably still could do um, a few combos that could still you know make them competitive. And yeah, um, I, I I just say like don't panic. Don't panic invest into Cosmo because first off, destroyer like 150 way too much. Way too much for a destroyer. Everything you, you can buy the whole deck except for destroyer. If you're gonna if you're gonna buy Cosmos right now, buy everything except for destroyer. Because destroyer costs way too damn much right now. Um, everything else should be fine. Um And yeah, uh Personally, this doesn't really affect me that much. I I guess I could go to um, a tournament without worrying about Pepe as much, although Cosmo and Monarchs are still going to uh, absolutely destroy my butthole. Um, and, yeah, this, this list doesn't really affect me. I'm, I'm going to wait for the actual ban list to come out so I can actually play the game. I'm, I'm probably going to play Raider Raptors. Uh, until the DDD structure that comes out, then I'll then I'll be playing D. Like I'm still playing DDD right now, but uh, I wanted to try out Raid Raptors because they seem cool right now. Um, but that's really all I got to say about this list. Um, if you guys have anything to say about uh, about this list, anything I might have missed, anything you may want to add, put it in the comments. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys later. This is Nisha here, and peace.